First time as a kid that I remember, you know, thinking well, I was seeing Kimus and thinking about it, was a, there was a TV program on uh, called Moving On. It was an American program. Every kid's dream was to was to have a drive or at least at least go for a ride. And then uh, one day, if you got to drive one, you know, something pretty special, you know. They were the monsters. They were the big trucks. Now, the first Kimus we brought was uh, '77. The truck was Kimus mm. 250 Cummings. It carted wood chips basically all its life, so that's what it done. Our company's a family business, so there's a young fella running around the yard, and I think it was the late 70s, um, a couple of owner-drivers uh, uh, got some Kenworths, and um, yeah, can running around those, thinking, geez, Dad, why didn't we get some of these? And uh, yeah, basically well, we can't afford them, mate. So <laughs> yeah, I think now we can't afford not to have them. When we did get to uh, finally get to the stage where we family business bought its first Kenworth, it was 1977. My brother and myself got the day off school to, we had to go and pick it up from Rotorua. We got flown to Rotorua, and we picked up this truck and we drove it home. And uh, yeah, what an experience. Dad's always talked to me, you know, he said, you know, always buy American, always buy Kenworth, because when the shit hits the fan, it'll get you through. They give us the biggest flexibility. Uh, we can run them hard, slow them down, and the guys can sleep in them. You know, we can go wherever with those, and um, they've been really, very, very good trucks. They're one of the most reliable trucks that I've ever built. We know what to look for, we know what maintenance to do on them, and it doesn't cost us a fortune at the end of the day. Well, most trucks you look at, you know, we'll, we'll look at maybe a seven, eight year replacement program, but um, we've got Kenworth's 10, 12 years old and, and still doing line haul and um, no problem. Keep maintaining those vehicles and, and get them going for as long as you want. When I ask the driver which truck they want to drive, they look at the old Kenworth and they say, I'd prefer to drive that one, boss. A big, simple truck and it lasted many, many years. Once you get a driver into a Kenny, you know, it's not many leave them, you know what I mean? Our top, top drivers will never go, they, they love the chrome, they love the gear, love the pair. It's, it's just passion. I suppose that's what business is built on, isn't it? My second son I named Kane William, so his initials are KW. So he's truck mad. So he's very proud of that, those initials, very, very proud of it. Kenworths have done very, very well for our business. We work in a very tough environment and the trucks get hell. And it, and it never actually let us down. It's not just a business for me, it's a passion. So I've got no doubt in my mind that Kenworth have been a major part in the success of my business and uh, I'm very proud to be associated with the brand. So when you talk about technology going forward, I, I think that even what we think, they're way ahead of us, so we're happy with, with that, you know. In all videos, you've got to have a funny. So my funny is, Steve Herring, who's a, he's a truck salesman, top, top guy, so you can cut that out. But he thinks he's good. So you always got to give a salesman a bit of a knock now and then, you know? So the first thing he's got to realise, and everyone at this show that's going to be in September is, um, if he was selling Max, he'd be broke in a day. Because the product sells itself. <laughs> Marty will love that one. <laughs>